Sanjay Okay, you all comfortable? Now you can put that book on the, on the table down the hall. Yeah, we don't. Yeah, press finish. Yeah, then more comfortable. Mm. 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 Temperature's okay? But I'm not to call. Okay, good morning again. Morning, Geshe-la. Morning, Geshe-la. Morning, Geshe-la. <laughs> Anyone comfortable at your house? <laughs> <laughs> good. Okay, it's nice too, wonderful too. Everyone, uh, as always, Buddhism, you know, is depends our motivation is how practice you know, power or not power of practice. And the motivation is very important. Well, today is very also quiet. No, the plants not fly for us. Sometimes they come every morning. We don't get much chance. I would like to do a little meditation. The meditation has so many different ways. Meditation. But, uh, now I would like to start also like beginnings with the most simple way. You no, know, usually the meditation try to, you know. Keep control of our mind. Sometimes say, why we need to control our mind? But our mind is just, when we stay here, we say, our mind thinks, well, I want to do something. We, our body not, and body and us, no choice, just follow that way. But our mind says, oh, I don't have that. And we have no choice, we just accept that. So our mind is a very powerful to mm -hmm. control us or check us to all different directions. Therefore, meditation for to control our mind or keep our mind with us. Therefore, you know, firstly, everyone just sit comfortable as, as much as you can. You know, there's so many different ways to meditation. You know, even in you know, sitting meditation have different ways. It's a complicated for us. Therefore, you can sit comfortable as you and just first to very deep, very in and out about a couple of times. Just when your mind also, mindfulness, when you're very in, you can think, oh, no, I'm very in. When you're very out, you feel, oh, I'm not very out. Just try to focus on that, not try to other stop, you come in, not try to stop that. If you focus on that, the other things even come, they go away. Out meditation, okay? Start now.
now visualization front of you if you are familiar with you can visualization any with the image the shakyamuni or mother tara awalukti shivara lamutongaba if you not familiar with you can look in that any buddha image and behind me just try to your mind keep on that image of the face try to how long can keep your mind the buddha's face just just focus that not thinking or try to stop other thoughts if you're not remember that you can look open your eyes Try to more clear the image. And again, in front of you, visualization is most kindest person for you, most very kind for you, your mother or your mom, your mother or your father, your brother or your sister, your wife or your husband, your friends, most close person you, visualization that person. Not only that, you can like that people around with you. Then think what to develop or cultivate to the person I wish the person become always happy and successful, peaceful life. Keep that thought in your mind. Again, that 
to wish to all those persons free from all the problems, physically and mentally, or to keep that thought in your mind. Now, talk to your own feeling the peace and the relax in a moment. Talk to that kind of experience. Peace or relax. Okay, now we can slowly stop. Okay, this is a hard to meditation. It's a very simple way. No, it's pretty easy also, right? He said, why we have to first visualization for Buddha as Buddhism Usually, we, you can visualize in any kind of object. But as Buddhism, he said, the holy object of Buddha, visualization, that also object, the power of the object, also we create the positive karma or merit. Then, uh, secondly, he said, why we need to visualize in front of us, the most kindest person? Well, it's also easy for us to develop compassion and loving kindness, right? If for us, if we are beginners, 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 right? Beginners? Beginning. Yeah, beginning. To be beginning for us, to be easy to develop compassion and loving kindness for most close person. We cannot, you're not able to develop compassion and loving kindness, the standard person. Now we always say, okay, he did wrong, she did wrong, or that did wrong way. Those we have to keep our thought far away. Therefore, it's very difficult for us to develop compassion and loving kindness for those people or whatever. Therefore, better to most kindest person, most close person, to be a very strong law. Uh, touch for them, then we can easy to cultivate for our compassion and loving kindness. Then how strong we have love and compassion that person, if we don't get that person have, you know, jealous and hatred and angry. Because the one object, we cannot develop two different thoughts. No, which thoughts strong, they always come up. The uh, less ones always like behind them. Therefore, how strong love and compassion be able to cultivate or develop that makes our mind also more peace. Why we don't develop or cultivate like the negative thoughts, the haters, jealous. No attachment, like angry. Those mind when uh, you know manifest those thoughts, then our mind will destroy. Therefore, yes. So 
you're saying that um, by meditating on that positive image or the Buddha space, we can um, make that more readily available in our consciousness and leave that other negative stuff will fade away more. Go away more. Because usually, Buddha image, we don't have bad thoughts, good thoughts, right? It's a, oh, it's a holy object. If we see the holy object, we don't have any negative karma, negative thoughts. Therefore, we develop call the you know, positive thoughts more strong. The negative thoughts just automatically go away. Okay? This is the one the purpose to meditation, right? <laughs> okay. Come to here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So by meditating in this way, we have to you know, uh, bring changes to our mind. You know the technology. <laughs> you remember Tamsi? <laughs> yeah. He also he said that uh, about the place to memorize. You know his voice is very deep. Voice. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. And because of not knowing or ignorance, you know, we always encounter uh, <coughs> uh, all uh, difficulties in our mind and body. Like when we recite the Har Sutra, it says uh, no form, no feeling, no discrimination, and so forth, right? So even though it says no form, no sound, no smell, and so forth, but there is form, there is a sound, there is a smell, right? We can see. Those forms, you can <clears throat> hear the sounds and so forth. So when it says no form and so forth, uh, most of you know what it means, right? But you know, what it's saying is that uh, the form doesn't exist like we see. So we're not seeing the reality, you know, we're not seeing the actual mode of existence of that form. Um, so we are uh, kind of obscured by the ignorance. So the things that you don't know, when people ask you about that, you say you don't know. So that is you know, the ignorance, not knowing. And so not knowing is the ignorance, right? So um, on top of not knowing uh, the thing, we grasp at the thing in a wrong way. You know, so that's called the self, uh, uh, a grasping, you know, uh, grasping at the things as uh, true existence or self-existence and so forth. Uh, so there's a grasping at the self of person and grasping at the self of phenomena. And so it depends on the object. So because you're grasping at a person, a being, uh, as existing from its own side, uh, and so that would be like self-grasping of a person. And then other than the being or person, you know, like the objects, you know, like base and so forth, if you grasp at those things as existing from their own side, that would be a grasping at the self of phenomena. Uh, so like um like you called me a geshe tinle uh, but if someone were to ask you which one is the geshe tinle 
Is it his leg? Is it his hand? Is it his head? You know, is it his uh, mouth that's speaking? Uh, you will be, you will not be able to pinpoint uh, with your finger and say this is Christian. I am not sure that Charan to Charan Surin and I've been a John, yes, and I'm a real slave to the cause of another Kajina Pango. And same thing with yourself, you know, like if you're called Mary or John, then you, you know, so somebody asks you who's John, and then you point to yourself you know, at, your, at your chest you know, area and say, I am John or I am Mary, like that. Kajin took another Pombo and took about anything, Kansan took him at all. So we are we're actually pointing to the body, not to the person, right? So ignorance, that's a, that's a ignorance, not knowing. And not knowing you know, what is uh, the reality. And uh, not knowing the reality is called ignorance. Uh, and on top of not knowing uh, what is I, then you say, I want this, I, I need that, and so forth. So you strongly grasp at the I. You know, so that becomes the self grasping ignorance. So the stronger uh, uh, grasp at the self. Uh, uh, and, uh, uh, self existent we have uh, more problems that we will face. And so like <clears throat> in your workplace, uh, if you uh, don't agree with the people or uh, don't you know, you know, work together with people and just you know do whatever one thing is good, then there will be more problem, right? So understanding what you know what uh, what it is and then agreeing and coming you know to work together you know, will become much easier. So anyway not knowing because of not understanding or, or thinking that what I'm thinking, what I am uh, uh, um, <clears throat> suggesting is best. Like that. If because of that, then there comes more problem, right? So anyway, so this is all because of uh, ignorance. And so there is no way, you know, we can uh, uh, fix it, you know, by uh, punishing it and so forth. Uh, so we have to fix it by meditating, uh, by contemplating on it. And in order to be able to do that, you know, we have to observe uh, <clears throat> uh, you know, the, the, the moral conduct you know, of our body, speech, and mind. And so we have to observe uh, and protect uh, and guard on our um, uh, the moral conduct of our body, speech, and mind. Um, you know, <clears throat> the, uh, making sure what we are thinking you know, with our mind um, is proper uh, and making sure that uh, what we're saying with our mouth you know, is the proper thing and uh, making sure that what we do with our body uh, is also proper action. And so from our side, you know, we, also, we have uh, created so many um, actions you know, of our body, speech, and mind that may have offended uh, others or harmed others. Uh, 
And so that is because of not uh, uh, protecting, not guarding you know, our body speech and mind, the moral context of our body speech and mind. And then the same way, uh, some uh, other person may cause trouble uh, or harm to us. And that is because of that person's uh, not control, controlling or guarding their uh, moral conducts you know, of their body, speech, and mind. Good question. So it, it seems like um, you're telling us to get comfortable with not knowing everything and not knowing why somebody feels different than us and um, not judging that, just not, don't, don't assume that you think you're right, just kind of be okay with Different people think different things. He's a little loud, he doesn't hear. <laughs> so um, it, it seems like you're telling us don't grasp onto the idea that we are right all the time. When people have different opinions, people think things differently, and don't think that we see things correctly all the time. Yeah. Yes, that's yeah. right. That's right. Okay. You really, you really find the point. Okay. Jaza, okay. What I'm going to talk, I forgot. <laughs> oh yeah, Jaza, that's the Chennai girl. Manachi, I'm so kind of miss out the sun, but that's not cheap. Amari, ani, nagshe cheap. Amari, komshi cheap. Amari, that's how how you go. So just like you said, you know, uh, each of us you know, have a different view about the things and different way of doing the things and different way of saying about the things, right? Uh, so that's uh, always different ways. You know, so we can't expect everybody to uh, be same as ourselves. Right. And <clears throat> so just like we make a mistake um, by not uh, observing or protecting uh, or guarding our you know, body, speech, and mind, uh, and because of that, we make mistakes. Uh, so just like that, the other person uh, is doing the same way, you know? uh, not knowingly, but you know, because of uh, not understanding the reality that you know, they make a, a mistake and they say the things in the wrong way that we may feel offended. And so in that case, you know, the best way to um, think you know, about other person is to have compassion for that person. And so in this um, you know, uh, teaching on the uh, sixth chapter, the, the chapter on patience in the Guide to the Buddhist Way of Life, what he's talking about is that anger you know, is very bad. Uh, it is the one that uh, destroys you know, our uh, um, loving kindness and compassion for other beings. So like if we uh, are angry towards somebody, you know, or if we hurt that person, we will not be able to have loving kindness or compassion towards that person, right? And, um, and somebody uh, that we love and care about so much we will not have anger towards that person that much right um or will not maybe we might get angry to met a better person right but not, you know, uh, angry to cause harm to that person. And so in, this, uh, in the patient, in the practice of patient, there's a patient called uh, uh, willingly accepting the suffering. So what do you think of that patient, the patient's uh, willingly accepting the suffering? <laughs> so we we willingly take on the suffering, right? So can are we able to do that? It's difficult for us to do that, right? Right. 
Kaji Susu Li Yamuna Sem. That's all Lida Sem. Tell a young uncle to Mundi Duma Showina. That thing on the Yamuna Amjo Tsimanya Bacon, Sema Machiway much. Yamuna Mikichi Susu Maga Yutri Tony, Sema Machiway. Yamuna Dachi Subula and Nasaja with the Negaja Susu Sem Tulu at the Yodua. So, so like when we experience some kind of suffering, right, uh, of physical suffering, mental suffering, uh, 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 like, you know, uh, <clears throat> when we see something uh, bad, uh, you know, we feel uncomfortable or we feel you know, pain. Or sometimes when we hear you know, uh, some kind of words, uh, bad words you know, from others, you know, like criticism or, or, or harsh words you know, towards us, then we feel you know, unhappy or <clears throat> uncomfortable, right? And so at that time, so during those times when we feel unhappy, you know, either in our body, in our mind, and so forth, how do we think? What should we do you know, at that time? And so, um, at that time, what we should think is like if it, you know, before it happened, uh, we can, you know, do something to prevent it, right? For it to not happen. Uh, you can do something to not happen. Uh, but if it has already happened, then, you know, the preventing part is already gone, right? So it's, it's past that part. And so, you know, what he's saying is that you should accept the song. Except you know, so endure and uh, uh, accept and endure the suffering, right? So at that time, of course, you know, uh, you can uh, you can again, you know, look for a means to uh, be free from that. Yeah. Uh, you accept it, and then you say, okay, what can I do to, you know, uh, not experience it furthermore? Okay. So when you say endure the suffering, it doesn't mean that you just sit there and say, okay, I'm taking the suffering on me and just sit there. Not like that, you know. Uh, if, you know, if you have a means, you know, to get rid of it, if you feel a pain, there's like, you know, uh, if you can apply antidote to that. You know, any kind of antidote you know, to overcome that pain, then you can apply apply that. And so, what you should do is uh, by you know by without being disturbed, you know, without being disturbed uh, in your mind, you know, you should uh, apply for the means to overcome that suffering. <laughs> So not just thinking that, oh, what, sh what did I do? What wrong did I do you know, to experience this problem, this you know, suffering? Not just sitting there and thinking like that, but you know, uh, should look for a means you know, to overcome it. Mm. And so, um, and so, what what is means, you know, by willingly accepting the suffering is that when you are, you know, going through the problem or any any kind of undesirable things that you're going through, and at that time, I says, oh, why is this happening? Why is this happening to me? Why is this not just like sitting there and worrying about it, but you know, say, okay, this happened because I must have done something like that, and now I'm going to do this, you know, to overcome this and like that. You know? So, so that would be uh, uh, willingly accepting the suffering. And then there was the, the patients, you know, uh, the discriminative of Dharma, right? So, you know, uh, uh, it is like, you know, uh, enduring the sufferings so that um you face when you're trying to practice dharma you know, and, that. and uh at that time you know of course you know uh it is to you know it is to think about uh, the karma 
uh, the cause that you have must have credit to experience this suffering. So if we are able to think, you know, that uh, whatever I'm going through, whatever problem or suffering that I'm going through is, uh, is because of my own karma, uh, I must have done something bad in the past, and by meeting this condition at this time, I'm experiencing it. So you're blaming on the karma, you know, not to the person, not to yourself, nobody else, but, you know, to your karma. So you don't feel that much of uh, uh, anger or uh, a disturbance. And so that is uh, kind of uh, uh, combined in this uh, verse, on, on uh, um, verse 34, uh, in the, the, the sixth chapter. And then they put the the so just like it says here, if things were brought into being by choice, so without depending on you know, cause and conditions, if you can just, you know, uh, bring in the things, you know, just like the way you want it, you know, uh, then since no one wishes to suffer, you know, no one wishes to you know, have the things in an undesirable way, and then uh, suffering will not occur you know, to any embodied being. You know, so nobody wishes in that way, so nobody will have to go through the suffering. <laughs> So this word is very, you know, very um, and <clears throat> strong and, uh, and uh, to the point, right? Uh, because it's saying that if things were to happen just the way we want it, you know, without dependent cause and condition, then since none of us, you know, wishes to go through the sufferings, will, you know, the suffering will not occur to us. Okay. So none of us wishes to have any suffering, but you know, all the sufferings you know, fall from everywhere, right? You know, uh, <clears throat> without an end. It keeps coming on, keeps coming on, keeps coming on all the time. So it's like a never ending problem. It's just we, come, we go through one problem and then we thought, oh, this is over now, then there's another problem comes. And then we go through, we go through that, and we think that's, that's over, and then another problem. So there's another problem, problem after problem all the time. So that is the, because uh, uh, this, these problems you know, <clears throat> doesn't come by stuff. It depends on any cause and conditions and so forth. So normally we always blame on somebody else. You know, this is all he did it or she did it or it did it and so forth. You know? And so at this time, what, should, what we should understand is that things uh, <clears throat> um, like the sufferings that we experience doesn't come by itself without different causes. It depends on cause and, and a condition, and it is not you know, uh, <clears throat> created by somebody out there for us. <laughs> For example, this year we didn't get you know, uh, any rain at all, right? And so just because it didn't rain, we can't be like just get angry and say, oh, why did it rain? Why did it rain? And so forth like that, right? So 
So the rain didn't happen because you know, uh, all the uh, 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 the cause and conditions that has to come tr uh, together for the rain to fall didn't happen. So that the cause and conditions were not there, therefore there was no rain. And so if we understand that, then that will help us not to be disturbed, right? Not to uh, be irritated or not to get angry and so forth. So if we uh, don't get you know, disturbed or irritated by that, then you know, the, uh, <clears throat> the people around us will not be irritated. You know? So that way, you know, one person can contribute happiness you know, to many people like that. So the first one is, uh, like I said, the suffering <clears throat> um, and, and the patients are willingly accepting the suffering. So whatever uh, suffering, verbal, physical, or mental suffering that one is going through, uh, uh, just accept that. Uh, and don't blame on others, and don't be dis and don't be disturbed. I mean, don't get angry or irritated. And <laughs> so then, uh, or why should we get, don't get? Why should we not get angry? Uh, why should we not be disturbed or get angry? Uh, is because you know things didn't happen you know, on on its own. It depend. It you know, it happened because of uh, the cause and conditions that we have created. And so then that brings us you know to the patience uh, of um, <clears throat> uh, so so uh, this is a discriminating uh, of the dharma. And then the next one is the, the, the patience you know, of not retaliating uh, to the harm or the suffering. And so that is explained in, uh, in the uh, verse 35 and so on. Um, so it's saying that instead of getting angry towards that person or thinking of causing harm to that person, we should have compassion you know, for the person uh, who is uh, causing harm to us. So if we do that, who, who it benefits? You know, who does it benefit? It benefits ourselves. So that you know, so if we think in that way, then our mind will not be disturbed. If our mind is not disturbed, then we are happy, right? Okay. So let's all recite this uh, verse 35 to 38. Through not being careful, people even harm themselves you know, with thorns and other things. And for the sake of obtaining women and the like, they become obsessed and deprive oh. themselves of food. <clears throat> and uh, there are some who inquire, uh, injure themselves you know, through the uh, unmerited deeds you know, of hanging themselves, leaping off uh, uh, from cliff, you know, eating poison and uh, unhealthy food. If when under the influence you know, of disturbing conceptions, people will even kill their treasured selves, how can they be expected not to cause harm to the body so of other living beings. And they carry the time, Michi Mombe Wangi is pa, maybe Wanga Rengas, maybe Gangas, the same Jacajela, Pa Mepa, and Michi Mombe Wangi, and the Rangarla, no what you are is. And so, through not being careful or conscientious, you know, people even cause and you know, even harm themselves you know, with the thorn and other things. Okay. So uh, through not being careful, you know, uh, that you know that we, we cause harm you know to ourselves, right? You know, like um, 
um, uh, and like you know, up to like taking the one's own life and you know, so forth. Okay. I'm not depending on the Mikaja Kanji, so 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 chick. And the Kondo Sama Samala, so the Lila chick. Kanji Kanye Tawada, and the Thermagan Rowan Makaji, Thermatu in Makanji, Kondo Sawa Tene, so 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 Lila, you have never cheated in a legacy. <laughs> so like it says here, right? You know, the, the, not because of not being careful you know, themselves, you know, with the thorn and, and the, even harm to the themselves with the thorns and other things. Like you know, you have to walk there uh, uh, conscientiously. You know, if you just you know. Uh, walk looking up in the sky, and then your foot may step on a thorn and you get harm. Uh, and also, it says about the you know, sake of obtaining women, the like they, food, they become upset and deprive themselves you know, uh, you know, of food. So, there's so much um, <clears throat> like a um, you know, falling in love you know, with somebody that they can't think of anything else, they don't even feel hungry. And then, of course, they are suffering from hunger, but you know, because of that, they don't even feel that way. Oji, Kanji, Tana Chinki, and the Jutala Chulo, Penjur, Tindila, Nambi Wangi, Yanji Ranta Jela, never to attend Mombongroa, to reach a Tudela Pajilap. And then also, you know, uh, out of uh, uh, attachment to the things, uh, of the, the of external of, you know, things, uh, <clears throat> that won't go through so much in you know, the problems or suffering. Kanji, so so like Susan Dovat, Jubia, Susan Dovat, Sula Toya Cheta. So in order to uh, fulfill one's wishes uh, <clears throat> or you know, one's um, you know, desires, uh, then we you know, go through so many uh, problems. And, and because of attachment and to the food, right? Like we like to eat, you know. Like the junk foods, they are so delicious in the time when you eat. <laughs> so you you are attached to that, and then actually you're eating that, and that's causing harm to the body, right? So like our tongue, you know, is very attached, you know, to the hamburgers, right? And even the doctors gonna say we should not eat the ham hamburgers, but because of our attachment, we follow our attachment and eat the hamburgers. So this all happens, right? Because of our you know, attachment to the things uh, and uh, you know, uh, and not being careful about it. And then some people you know, they give up their life. I mean they lose their, their they lose their life uh, over things that they're attached to. Like they go to steal, you know, the things that they, they are attached to or they like it, and then they lose their life. You know, and they get injured, they get killed, and so forth, right? Right. And and then like that like it says, you know, um, <clears throat> because of uh, um, uh, obtaining women and the like, and then they become obsessed and deprive themselves of fools. I think on the moment with the tongue on Sotaya will go to Kaji Java Cham and do Mini Totaya will go to Shining on the Yanchi, Kalasu Sagra, they are mad them in Masave. I got the answer to Supola Kangan Tang and Momo and And then uh, not only that, also then at the times like, you know, when we like, uh, uh, I attach to our look, right? or I want to you know, have a good look, I want to be skinny, slim, and so forth. Therefore, I should not eat. You know, like, so you deprive yourself of food. Right? And so that is um, uh, what is saying in the verse 35, right? So, you know, because of not knowing, or not being uh, uh, conscientious, we do so many things that cause harm to ourselves. That's what I was looking at. Catching Gashi Yathan Chong, Tilda, 
Mentor Savata, son of my Shebaye, Rangan of Shebaye, start the Kachia, Nishi Mambi Wangi, Yan Susu, Top Down, Kosa Yamana Susu, Guet Mandavaida, Kanchi Susu Ransochiada, Yasa Jordan Mambi Wang to us. And then it says in the verse 36, and there are some who enjoy themselves through the unmeritorious deeds of hanging themselves, leaping all, uh, from cliff, eating poison food and unhealthy and you know, poison and unhealthy food. And then the mother would open a family up and so so association pay Mamboy or the Zogarna, so so the water Mantravaida, the Hutuni association. So, like people committing suicide is uh, is is enduring or you know, themselves, uh, killing themselves, you know, through the unmeritorious deeds. So much happened that Jacob Pomjur Dutch, so yeah, Yajin brought to the man, teach and a mad in Gusrawa. So this, um, I think, you know, the, the, the committing suicide happens more in the um, um, more in like uh, more developed places. And I was a lot of them, but I'm Tom Lab and the Momo and the Luchu Bajita. So, so which a cafe just as you chick, a pretty cafe, a cone, a country, and the tender cafe, and the cafe majanda. Like you know, it happens a lot in a, in the in the schools like universities, right? Where students you know, they study and you know, they want to achieve and a certain degree, so when they're not able to achieve that or not able to compete with somebody you know who is better than themselves, then they like commit suicide. And then there are also many people, you know, who die from eating food and unhealthy, and eating you know, the poisonous and unhealthy foods. So these kind of uh, people, you know, who <coughs> um, uh, create, you know, who create all these kind of uh, uh, actions, you know, through the non meritorious deeds. You know, they they are like they they do that you know, uh, out of ignorance. So therefore, we should have compassion for them. Okay, then they carry over that. They 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 you know they you know carry that. Oh, that. And so so like they then that and so like that. So so like you, can you tell me that one? Magang like a chicken there, you know. Control side and that like who is going to go? Who are going to marry? Then and so take over that. So what we have to understand is that you know there's uh, 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 so who 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 don't retaliate on these sufferings, right? And so the people who cause harm to us, you know, instead of becoming angry towards them, we should you know um, uh, have compassion you know, towards them by thinking that they are doing this out of ignorance. Eh? Is it possible? Possible? Is it possible to think it that way? <laughs> of course, it's not easy for us, like a beginners like ourselves, but but if you keep on contemplating and meditating on that all the time, that is possible. だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ、だ
통벌단 맞아 레라우 체 통벌단 내 삼로당 검접 삼로당 검접 삼로당 검접 검접 나 아니 디콜라트니 삼로당 등원에 레드야 내가 검접 아보 삼로당 안에 아니 세마야 내시인 용한테 내시인 용한테 난 무슨 야탑 되고 자라 그래. So of course it's not easy to think it like that right away, you know, because it is a high level practice. You have to you know, contemplate, meditate, contemplate, meditate, you know, think about it. And is it really like that or not? Then you come to the conclusion, yes, it's really like that. And then you meditate, you, you know, um, <clears throat> keep your mind or hold your mind or thought on that. Um, and that reason why it is like that. And then, and then, and then again, contemplate and then, you know, meditate, contemplate, meditate, keep on doing like that for a long time. Then eventually, you'll find the ascertainment you know, of how that is, how it is really like that. And then, you know, then, then after that, it will be possible, you know, to think in that way. And, uh, and then in the, in the verse uh, 838, it kind of uh, concludes, you know, by saying, yes, it is worth having compassion for them. It is, it is it is good to have compassion it is worth having compassion for them and then it is also worth to have compassion for them so like i say even if i cannot develop compassion for all such people who through the arisal of disturbing conception set out to try and kill me and so forth and the last thing i should do is to not uh, to uh, do is to become angry with them okay and so uh, so what he's saying is that we know uh, uh, when somebody causes harm to us and uh, we should not get angry and should practice patience towards them. <laughs> so you think we'll be able to do that? Possible. Yes, it is possible, right? Because you have a valid reason you know, to uh, uh, to do that. Uh, the reason, the valid reason is because you know, the person has uh, no control you know, over uh, himself or herself. So what do you mean by that? Or how do you know that you know, they don't have control over themselves? So just like we don't have control when we are angry, right? So like you know, from the way we speak and the way we look at them, can cause them to be unhappy, right? So we don't have that motivation or intention you know, uh, uh, to speak in that way to cause harm or cause the person to become unhappy with us, right? Okay. And so right now, you know, if we think in that way, oh, how, how, how would that benefit to myself? How would that benefit to others? No? But if we really find the ascertainment from doing that you know, uh, contemplation and meditation again and again and again, and then we really you know, find a huge benefit in doing that. And so, uh, for our practitioner and you know, our and our patients, and you know, someone causing harm like that, you know, will be seen as uh, uh, the best uh, teacher, our uh, best uh, spiritual teacher. <laughs> So of course, generally or normally, we will think like, oh, how can I, how can that person be my teacher? You know, he is someone causing harm to me. So 
So I think I've mentioned this before, you know, when Lama Atisha came to Tibet, he had an attendant, very uh, short-tempered short you know, attendant, <laughs> who gets angry easily all the time. And the people that are there, that they're part of the show, and they're 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 the show, and then the, the people you know, suggested Lama Atisha to you know, kick him out. And so why are you keeping him as your attendant? You know, let him go. You know? And he said, no, 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 this is my best teacher for teaching me to practice patience. And so, <clears throat> of course, you know, if you have not reached um, uh, to the high level practitioner, as a high level practitioner, then a person like, you know, uh, like me and myself, and I will not, you know, people like me, Myself and people like me will have difficulties doing that. So, like, because if, if somebody you know, <clears throat> looks at us in a, in a way that we don't like, then we'll come to the conclusion right away saying that, oh, that person is bad. <laughs> And so that mind, you know, we think, you know, oh, that person is bad, you know, is making us think really, oh, that person is bad. And then many people, he looked at me that way, you know, he, or she looked at me in that way, and, and why is the love looking that way, and so forth. So it's all, you know, we create a reason, and every reason, you know, that we think with that wrong mind. You know, becomes uh, anger you know, towards that person, thinking that person is bad. Mm. So, <clears throat> so for um, beginners like ourselves, even if we are not able to do high level practice, like it is mentioned in here, uh, meditation and contemplations and all the time, uh, but you know, at least observe our, our you know, body, speech and mind. Observe meaning like, you know, watch it and then make sure that it doesn't you know, do the wrong things, like you know, you know, protecting or uh, guarding our body from creating the non virtuous actions through our body and guarding our mind and guarding our speech. If we are able to do that, then that will lead us you know, to be able to do the high level practices later, the high level practices later. And so that is uh, the basis or the foundation on which you know, we can build the high level practices, right? And so, if someone uh, and, and uh, someone were to say something bad or you know, do something bad, instead of becoming angry immediately, you know, try to think that why that happened, and and, and then just like you know, uh, <clears throat> one will think about you know, uh, just like one will do in that way. You know, then apply that you know, on others, and then in that way, you know, try not to become angry towards them. Okay. So about these three types of patients, uh, the first one, uh, which is uh, willingly accepting the suffering, it's like whenever the, you know you face problems or sufferings, uh, don't be disturbed, you know, <clears throat> but accept it by thinking that this is happening because of and the cause and conditions that I have created. So, like I said, this happens because of, because of, you know, uh, or by depending on many causes and conditions. You know, it's not the person uh, or the, you know, situation creating it. So that will be uh, uh, the patients of discriminative awareness of Dharma. And then, 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 you know, 
And then uh, that happens, you know, <clears throat> because the person has no control over himself or herself. And so, <clears throat> so instead of uh, you know, uh, trying to cause uh, back, uh, cause harm back to the person, uh, instead of retaliating, and then you, you know, uh, <clears throat> uh, develop compassion towards that person. So, so instead of getting angry, it's just, uh, you, know, you, you, know, you think that, oh, this happened, this person did it like that because of uh, ignorance, because of not knowing what is the reality, and therefore, you know, a poor person not knowing that. So thinking like that, you have compassion towards that, that person. So that is the, the third type of patience. Uh, of not retaliating you know, to the cause, to the harm or the suffering. And so, <clears throat> so, so, you know, the reason why they did it out of ignorance, you know, uh, how they, how they, how they cause harm to us out of ignorance, it's just like they cause harm you know, uh, to themselves out of ignorance, to the, to the treasure. Uh, self, you know, out of ignorance, just like they do that to us, and then they are doing to us also. So therefore, we should have compassion. Okay, I do that. Okay, I think we stop here. Any questions? Any emergency questions? <laughs> yeah, Jennifer. You have to do. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, thank you so much, Keshua. Um, just stepping back a few verses, in, in verse 32, a, a qualm is raised that if, if all this wrongdoing is just the um, assembling of conditions and that no one has any control, then how can, how can we um, restrain ourselves? We don't even have the control to restrain ourselves. So if, we don't, if no one has control, we don't have control either to restrain ourselves. So, um, and then the qualm is answering, answered by saying, it would not be inappropriate because conventionally I must maintain that in dependence upon restraining anger, the stream of suffering is severed. So my question is though, that preparation, that ability to restrain yourself in that moment, that doesn't happen in that moment. You have to, it's, it's the familiarization, the meditation that you talked about earlier, we have to do again and again and again. And then at that point, is that the, the ability to retrain, restrain yourself? Is that also just the coming together of conditions? Now that seed of anger that you may have had becomes um, mitigated somewhat through your meditation. And therefore when the conditions come together, you don't retaliate um, and you accept. That's my question. <laughs> Uh Yes, Yes, that's right. So you have to have a kind of conditions, you know, for you to be able to restrain. Uh, and that will be like, like you also mentioned, you know, like studying, you know, contemplating and meditating on that again and again. So if you have done that, then that can become a condition for you to be able to restrain it. And if you haven't done that, then you don't have a condition to be able to restrain and you just get angry towards it. Right. So the restraint isn't just some will that you have in that moment. It's actually um, the preparation that you did to create the conditions for the restraint to arise. Right. 
Yeah, so right now we know that, oh, you know, getting angry is not good, but are we not able to not get angry? No, you know, so so not just knowing, just knowing that, thinking, oh, getting angry is not good, it's not, not enough. You have to have done studies and contemplations and meditations. When you have done that, then you will be able to, you know, just like you think uh, getting angry is not good, then you will be able to not get angry. Yes, the, you have to get the, the ascertainment, you know, which is like the, the realization. So yeah, like you know, like I said, you know, for that you have to have studied, you know, from the teachers, and you have to have. Uh, done contemplation and meditations and gain ascertainment from that. And uh, when you have done that, then you know you'll be able to do that, just like you said. Thank you very much, Kishla. Okay. okay. I think good. Right? Let's stop here. Okay, then I think we have to also puja after that. If you see one last come and choose Pasam Shah Kanja. Yeah, come and Pasam Shah. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to do group puja after this. I will take break for 10 minutes. And then we'll come back around uh, 11.45 and do the group puja. Why did it? Oh, yeah. So okay. maybe somebody can help there, uh, Geshla, you know, to set up the offerings. And um, I'm going to do the omze from home. Uh, I have already set up my altar, you know, with the offerings. Uh, you know, so you can imagine that, and then we'll do that way. Okay. You guys, so sit here. You just sit like that, not not set up anything. Yeah, I'm I'm stay here. Geshla, come back, come back in ten. The schedule says the puja doesn't start until 12. So people, some people may not join until 12. That is okay. Who's not coming? Who's coming? I don't know. <laughs> it's coming. It's, it's on the calendar is 12. Yeah. I think just always coming puja, the already people are already here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we just stay here. Like here, if you guys join this puja, I don't know. I think he knows puja is missing. You did. Oh, you no, did. No. I mean, I have been too. Yeah, it's local. puja's pray like it's like special today's puja local for like seven limbs practice, then the mind training and love jean and a love room praise. This is it is a sport for our you know practice. If you're comfortable, you can stand. If you like to read, also follow it. If you don't difficult to what's that? Have to difficult to read. You don't have to read, okay? Whatever you like, yeah. Whatever you like, just come to all yourself, okay? Okay? <laughs> 